I am an activist. We are doulas. We are doctors. We are lawyers. We are midwives. We are anthropologists. We are with women. We are mothers and fathers. We have united to form human rights and childbirth. We are taking action to advance the fundamental human rights of birthing women everywhere. In order to effect real change, we need to take this project to the next level. A woman has the right to make decisions about her own body. But we've heard from women all over the world whose providers failed to respect these basic rights, sometimes using coercion and force. Women have the right to life. Women have the right to survival for themselves and their babies. But more than just the rights to survival, maternity care needs to recognize the full spectrum of human rights for all women. Optimal birth care means the best outcomes with the least amount of intervention. But let's remember that sometimes mothers need or want intervention. They should not feel judged for needing or wanting this. Every woman has the right to respectful support for her personal choices in childbirth. Todos sabemos que milhões de mulheres estão passando por cirurgias custosas e desnecessárias. Uma coisa é uma mulher passar por uma cirurgia escolhendo livremente a cesariana. Outra coisa é quando a mulher é enganada, coagida ou pressionada a um nascimento cirúrgico, o qual ela não deseja e do qual ela não precisa. Human rights in childbirth isn't only about the right to make decisions about our own health care. It's also about ending bullying and coercion in the name of the baby. Nel mondo, le più alte percentuali di interventi durante il parto si verificano per motivi economici. Quando i medici raccomandano spesso la nascita chirurgica e per ragioni diverse dalle immediate necessità cliniche delle donne che sono pagati per curare, il diritto umano di rifiutare l'intervento diventa fondamentale. The way a woman gives birth impacts her for the rest of her life. And when women come out of birth alive, but actually traumatized by the way they were treated while they were giving birth to their child, then the goal of a healthy mother and a healthy baby has not been met. The dysfunction in maternity care today can sometimes feel overwhelming. Too frequently, even in wealthy countries, women experience disrespect and abuse during childbirth. Doctors wanting to provide woman-centered, evidence-based care in this environment often find their hands tied by policies that are outside their control. A pregnant woman can't fix this broken system alone, but her human rights can shield her against disrespectful care. In May 2012, the first Human Rights in Childbirth conference was held at The Hague in the Netherlands, and participants from over 50 countries were there to talk about the science, ethics and economics of human rights in childbirth. And we were there and we filmed for our documentary called Freedom for Birth, which was screened in September of that year with a thousand screenings in 50 countries in 17 different languages. In April 2013, Human Rights and Childbirth brought together the nascent US legal network to explore how the law supports medical monopoly when midwifery is outlawed and to discuss the fallout for families when birth choices are driven underground. In November 2013, Human Rights and Childbirth convened in Belgium bringing together mothers, lawyers and birth providers from across Europe who were involved in legal actions for birthing women's human rights. Local activist groups from Australia, Finland, Israel, Ecuador and Croatia, inspired by our work, have held regional conferences on birthing women's legal rights. In these two years, We've developed an international network of lawyers and activists who are working at the local level to make human rights a reality. These connections have led to legislative action, legal advocacy in the courtroom, and many meetings of local groups. Human rights and childbirth can facilitate the political movements and legal revolutions necessary to ensure that every woman receives the respectful support that she needs while she brings new life into the world. Thank you.